Welcome! Today I will show you how I made the steering for my RC car. I first started off with three mechanical designs. The first one was rack and pinion, which used a gear to push around the slider, which rotated the wheels in parallel. The second design was the crank and slider. With the same idea such as the rack and pinion, this one uses a lever to push the slider back and forth, kind of like how pistons work in an engine, but this one doesn't get full rotation. And finally, reverse motion was something very simple but non-symmetric, so I abandoned the mechanism. Which left me with two designs. I first wanted to use the rack and pinion, but for my last RC car project, the crank and slider worked great. And if it doesn't perform as wanted, I can always go back and redesign. Oh, and before I proceed with the design, I do want to share some research that I did, and it's regarding the rotation of the tires. It's called the Ackerman Principle. This principle was made in the old times when carriages were big, because at lower speeds, the Ackerman Principle allowed the inner wheel to rotate more towards the side it was rotating. This would allow the wheels to turn on a more natural path, which would help with traction and steering. Now, the Ackerman principle works so well that it has made its way into the new era. But now, there's anti-Ackerman, or reverse, which rotates the outside wheel more, which is more optimal for higher speeds, so I said to myself, why not make the tires rotate the same amount? So I did a little bit more research and I stumbled upon parallel steering, where both of the tires rotate the same amount. And yeah, here is what I came up with. My first 3D print, I've tried doing this steering right here, and I, I realized that I needed to expand the hull a bit more because it didn't rotate enough. For my second print, I did it very well actually, to the point where it rotated more than it needed to. But then there was a problem, because when I tried putting in the wheel with the ball bearing and all, the corner of this piece here started uh, rubbing against the inner part of the wheel. So got rid of this piece right here. The black piece I just got rid of and that fixed my problem. So now the final design <laughs> is this beauty right here. Now I had to experiment a little bit with this rod here, these guys here and this. The suspension works. And so does the steering. Now you could see it the best from the bottom. So, but basically, when I turn this guy here, it pushes the rod, pushing everything this way. So the wheels are gonna be like this. Now I believe the max de degree for rotation for both sides is 30, 30. So it can rotate 30 degrees here, 30 degrees there. I turn on controller. Then I turn on my ESC, and all I have to do is I do understand if I don't like this, I can just switch it and reverse it. So that's not a big problem for me.
anyway, for the next video, I'll be working on the central body and finishing up the little pieces, fixing up some minor problems, and that's kind of it. See you in the next one.